Hello again from southeastern Finland in Northern Europe. I still continue my video series on the selected events of certain years. Now it's time for 1959. It was a common year in the Gregorian calendar starting on Thursday. And here were its selected events according to Wikipedia. On January the 1st, 1959, the dictatorial right-wing pro-United States President Fulgencio Batista fled Havana, the Cuban capital, when the forces of the communist leader Fidel Castro advanced. And Castro would remain this Caribbean country's communist dictator until 2000 and either 2008 when he resigned as the Cuban president in favor of his brother Raul or then until 2011 when he resigned as the first secretary of the Cuban Communist Party's Central Committee. He eventually passed away in November 2016, aged 90. And he would become the hero of many uh, third world communists and even many Latin American communists. On January the 2nd, 1959, the Soviet Union successfully launched the Luna 1 spacecraft from Baikonur Cosmodrome. On January the 8th, 1959, Charles de Gaulle was inaugurated as the first president of the French Fifth Republic. Uh, he had served as the Fifth Republic's last prime minister since the start of June. 1958. The Fifth French Republic is a semi-presidential democratic republic where the president is the head of state and the co-head of government alongside the prime minister. So the president and a cabinet share the executive power. The president is directly elected by the voters for five years. These uh, Five-year terms became effective in 2002. Until then, the normal presidential term had been seven years. The president appoints the prime minister, who must then have a working majority in the French parliament's lower house, the National Assembly, l'Assemblée Nationale, in French, in order to remain in power. The president cannot directly dismiss the prime minister, however, he has the right to call early elections, even if the prime minister opposes them once a year. And if the prime minister and his or her government are unpopular, then the president may succeed in indirectly replacing the prime minister. The president has a veto right, although I'm not sure how regularly he uses that right, the parliamentary dissolution right was last used by uh, the former French president Jacques Chirac, a centre-right politician, in 1997, resulting in the centre-right government's defeat. Um, if the French, uh, French president is popular and the government is headed by his or her coalition, then he or she is a rather powerful leader. However, if the French president is unpopular and another party or coalition is in power, creating a so-called uh, cohabitation situation, the president's effective powers are fairly limited, except that uh, he or she still can refuse to sign certain decrees prepared by the government. He or she can still veto laws passed by the French par parliament, and of course he can still uh, dissolve the French National Assembly and call fresh elections. Mm -hmm.
On January the 25th, 1959, the Boeing 707 airliner began service. Pope uh, John the 23rd announced that the Second Vatican Council would be convened in Rome. On January the 29th, Walt Disney, a well-known American cartoonist and filmmaker, released his 16th animated film, Sleeping Beauty in Beverly Hills, California, the United States. It was Disney's first animated film to be shown in 70 millimeters and modern six-track stereophonic sound. Also on the program was Disney's new live action short subject, Grand Canyon, which used the music of Ferd Grofé's Grand Canyon Suite. Grand Canyon won an Oscar for best documentary short. On February the 1st, 1959, a referendum in Switzerland rejected a proposal to allow the Swiss adult women to vote. On February the 3rd, 1959, many uh, fans of rock and roll music, especially in the United States, but also elsewhere, mourned the death of uh, three young, talented uh, American rock and roll musicians, Buddy Holly, Richie uh, Valence or Valens, and the Big Bopper, whose official name was... Giles uh, Richardson Jr. A small chartered airplane transporting them um, to another city or town on their tour of the Midwestern United States. Uh, it had been marked by low temperatures and freezing conditions even on board their, um, their chartered bus. And in order to get faster from one location to another, they had eventually decided to board this airplane. The pilot was Roger Peterson. The conditions were foggy. And shortly after takeoff, uh, the airplane went down near Clear Lake, Iowa, killing all four on board. The tragedy was later termed the day the music died, popularized in Don McLean's or Don McLean's 1971 song, American Pie. On February the 6th, 1959, at Cape Canaveral, Florida, the first su successful test firing of a Titan intercontinental ballistic missile was accomplished. On February the 13th, 1959, TAT-2, AT&T's second transatlantic telephone cable, went into operation. On February the 17th, 1959, Vanguard 2, the first weather satellite, was launched to measure cloud cover for the United States Navy. Um, on March the 3rd, 1959, Pioneer 4 became the first American object to escape dominance by Earth's gravity. On March the 18th, 1959, the U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower signed a bill to grant statehood to Hawaii. On April the 9th, 1959, the North American um, or rather National Aeronautics and Space Administration or NASA announced its selection of seven military pilots to become the first US astronauts, later known as the Mercury 7. In May 1959, import tariffs were lifted in Britain. On June the 3rd, 
1959, Singapore in Southeastern Asia became a self-governing crown colony of Britain with Lee Kuan Yew as its prime minister. On July the 1st, 1959, Australia's longest-running children's TV series, Mr. Squiggle, first aired on the Australian Broadcasting Corporation television. On July the 4th, 1959, with the admission of Alaska as the 49th U.S. state earlier in the year, the 49-star flag of the United States debuted in Philadelphia. On July the 17th, 1959, the first skull of Australopithecus or Southern Ape was discovered by Louis Leakey and his wife Mary in the Old Dubai Gorge of Tanzania in Eastern Africa. On July the 24th, 1959, at the opening of the American National Exhibition in Moscow, the Soviet capital, US Vice President Richard Nixon and the Soviet dictator Nikita Khrushchev engaged in a so-called kitchen debate, where each tried to defend his country's uh, alleged superiority over the other. On August the 4th, 1959, martial law was declared in Laos, Southeastern Asia. On August the 15th, 1959, Cyprus in Western Asia gained independence. On September the 12th, 1959, Bonanza premiered first regularly scheduled TV program presented in color. On September the 14th, uh, Luna Second or Luna Two became the first man-made object to crash on the moon. From September the 15th to September the 28th, 1959, the Soviet uh, dictator or premier Nikita Khrushchev and his wife toured the United States at the invitation of US President Dwight Eisenhower. On September the 16th, 1959, the Xerox 914, the first plain paper copier was introduced to the public. Um, mm -hmm. On October the 1st, 1959, the 10th anniversary of the People's Republic of China was celebrated with pomp across the country. On October the 31st, riots broke out in the Belgian Congo. Um, On November the 18th, 1959, MGM released widescreen Technicolor version of Ben-Hur starring Charlton Heston. The film went on to win record number of Academy Awards. It was the last MGM film to win Best Picture Oscar. Dr. Zhivago was nominated in 1965. On November the 20th, 1959, the Declaration of the Rights of the Child was adopted by the United Nations. On December the 1st, 1959, um, the Antarctic Treaty was signed. 12 countries, including the United States and the Soviet Union, signed a landmark treaty setting aside Antarctica as a scientific preserve and banning military activity on the continent. It was the first arms control agreement established during the Cold War. On December the 14th, 1959, uh, the Greek Cypriot Orthodox Archbishop Makarios III was selected as the first president of Cyprus. On December the 28th, 1959, after having been shot two years earlier, uh, the uh, 
World War II uh, puppet Croat, uh, Croatian state's leader, Mr. Ante Povelic, died from his wounds in a Spanish hospital.